going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 23 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, we're going to be going over all of the steps that you need to take, everything you need to know and do to get a free 87 overall Tim Tebow. Now, if you guys enjoy this video, if you like it, if it helps you out, make sure you go ahead and click that thumbs up button. Show us a lot of support on the channel, helps the videos get noticed. Also, if you're brand new here because you were searching around YouTube for Muck 23 content, whether it's how to make coins, how to get free players, how to build your ultimate team you found the right channel for everything stay a while click that subscribe button turn that notification bell on as well so you guys are alerted when we drop additional videos let's get right on into it so we're going to go over all of the steps on how to basically take a 79 overall tim tebow card and upgrade it to an 87 for free you're not going to have to spend any coins any money it's all free we'll also show you how to earn that 79 and all of the objectives and what it takes and the best path to get there before we do i want to show you a glitch that's happening and it's been going on for over an hour now at this point and hopefully by the time some of you watch this video, you might be able to take advantage. If not, I'm sorry, it's known out there, it's all over Twitter and whatnot, but it's definitely gonna help you knock out a couple of the early objectives you need for this free Tim Tebow. So if you go to item sets, you go to program down to campus heroes, and then I like to hit L2, which would be left uh, trigger on Xbox, and go down to A to Z, we will find that there's this 80 overall underclassman player gold exchange. And if you open up the set and read the description, what's required or what's supposed to be required in here is 178 overall and then three 76 to 77 overall cards. That would equal 180 overall campus hero card. What you actually need to put in here is only two cards and this is where it's broken. I don't know if they're gonna leave it this way or if they're gonna fix it eventually, but try to take advantage if you can. Basically you need to put one mid tier gold, which is a 76 or 77 in this slot and then a 78 to 79 in the other slot so two gold cards equals 180. Now the gold cards, please don't go out there and buy them because they have definitely escalated in price. I'm more so showing you this because if you have a lot of gold items in your binder, you can clear them out now. This is a great opportunity to use those. Or you can go in and sell your gold since they are up in price right now because of people doing this set. But you do need to complete a couple of these Campus Hero sets to get certain objectives done for the free Tim Tebow. So this is a great opportunity to get those objectives done and to get the first starting spot, which is the 79 overall. So I did this a bunch. I cleared out my binder full of all the golds that I have. And I mean, another thing that you can do if you don't have those specific gold overalls is you can go to item sets and go to, go to core gold and roll upward. So knock out the 72 to 73 and then the 74 to 75 sets, those will start building you cards upward to get 76 and 77s and then finally 78s and 79s i could do it more but we have 75 of those packs right now i'll show you guys we basically cleared out a ton of stuff in our binder and we now have 75 packs that are the 80 overall underclassmen campus hero cards and we should be able to roll a lot of these or turn a lot of these into 84 campus hero cards and then in turn turn some of those into 87s and of course put the 87s into the 90s we will be live on twitch later tonight if you guys want to tune in and watch me open these and start to build out some of these campus hero champion cards and of course the the uh 87 overall cards as well we're going to add a bunch to the team tonight on twitch now to get the tim tebow all of the objectives and pretty much everything you need to do of course is going to be found under field pass and the campus heroes promo does not have its own field pass like headliners did everything that we're looking for is going to be under the season one field pass all of the objectives that is by the way the competitive field pass errors and the reward Words not being handed out correctly seem to be fixed now or at least for the most part starting to roll out if you didn't get your content yet be a little bit more patient they're supposed to put out a tweet kind of going over what's happening and if there's going to be any make rights either tonight or tomorrow and i'll keep you updated as well in videos but it's good news that competitive rewards are starting to go out so back over to the tim tebow and how to get him for free if you go to season one and then go all the way over to programs you're going to see at the bottom left there is a separate section for campus heroes objectives 
And a lot of these objectives are going to be giving you packs and helmet stickers to build up your 79 overall Tim Tebow to an 87 overall. We're going to skip past a few of them. These are giving season XP, which is good. So completing four Campus Heroes objectives, 7, 10, 13, you get some season one XP that's going to, of course, help you uh, go down this path of rewards within the season one field pass, including that Stefan Gilmore, eventually the Dave Casper card at level 51 and whatnot. There's just a lot of stuff in there and of course you know the season xp is going to help you get down that list but what we're really looking for here is the first mission which i've already completed and this is where those glitch sets came into play and really helped me out if you look it says complete one campus hero objective that's going to give you some season xp but more importantly the 79 overall tim tebow item that's the starting point that's the base card you're going to need to power up to an 87 and then the rest of the way you're going to be using stickers to power them up and i'm going to show you how to do that but first let's talk about how to get those stickers so completing one objective for me was simply completing one campus hero set and that was you know the glitch set that i showed you even if it's fixed by the time you're watching this video that's probably going to be the cheapest set to complete and if you can you're going to want to try to complete it five times because that's going to knock out the complete one campus hero objective of course because it's an objective so you're going to get your 79 tebow but it's also going to give you your first sticker and i believe i counted eight stickers is what will be needed to go from a 79 to an 87 overall so me completing that set at least five times i mean i did it 75 times as you guys saw gave me two stickers so we have our 79 for completing one objective on this entire list and then we got two stickers for knocking out the campus hero set one time and then another time five times now the rest of the things that you can do to earn stickers and i'm pretty sure there are more things or more items on here than you would need like i said you need eight stickers i'm pretty sure there's more than eight ways to get those if i count through them but there are solo battle wins so you can see here let me go back up to the top win five solo battle or head-to-head -head games with a campus hero player in your lineup all you really have to do is take that 79 overall Tim Tebow and put him as your backup quarterback. That will suffice. Of course, you can put an 80 overall, an 84 overall Campus Hero. It doesn't have to be an 87 or a 90, not the, the high tier items, but the easiest, most big brain way to do this is once you get that 79 Tebow, throw him in your, in your lineup as your backup quarterback and that will knock it out. So then once you start to win uh, solo battle games or head-to-head -head games, you're going to be able to knock out these objectives specifically and get stickers and it looks like you can get a total of three from there this promo also has solo challenges and within the solos you can actually earn a free 87 overall card of your choice from the campus heroes promo and down below in the comment section as a pinned comment we are going to link a video that we dropped yesterday going over and breaking down all of the best 87 overall cards to pick because you're going to be able to get one free from solos and one from house rules and playing both of those game modes whether it's solos and or house rules will help you earn stickers for the free tim tebow so you're kind of double dipping here and if we continue to look at some of the objectives here specifically for the campus hero solos or challenges when you get to 40 stars 80 stars and 120 stars you're going to get a sticker for each of those remember you're going to need eight total i have all of the uh, the ways to get stickers they're all on this list as well but you can definitely get more than eight you only need eight to go from a 79 to an 87 but there's three more opportunities to get three more stickers via the solos also with the house rules the scoring on it is a little bit different and i'll show you in a moment but to get stickers via house rules when you get to 1000 house rules score 3000 and then finally 7000 that's three more ways to get additional stickers. There's one other way to get a sticker and that's by completing an all conference set, which is basically building out an 87 overall. I counted a total of 12 stickers that you can earn, but remember you only need eight to go from the 79 overall to the 87 overall. So I think in my opinion, the easiest path to get there to get to eight stickers is number one, knocking out the one and five campus hero sets. Those are gonna be fairly easy. And even if the glitch set gets fixed, the gold set still isn't that expensive to do if you have some of the items in your binder. Also, if you look at some of the objectives up at the top, when you complete other objectives within this list, you're going to get some like 80 overall cards and all conference cards. Like you're gonna get some pieces to build out additional sets by completing objectives if you scroll through those. But definitely to get two of the eight, you're gonna to need to knock out one and five sets. Then to get three more, you're gonna to have to win your solo battle games. I would say even just winning 12 solo battle games is going to give you two more so now we're at four 
You don't have to go all the way to 20. Of course you can, and that's going to avoid you having to play online at all. But I would say just to go the quicker route, get your 12 solo battle wins with that 79 Tebow somewhere in your lineup, whether it's the starting QB or the backup. So now we're at four. You're going to get another three from knocking out the uh, solo challenge stars. So where are those at again? Uh, 40, 80, and 120 stars. That would then put us at seven. We only need one more. You can continue to play solo battles games and get to that 20th win, or you can jump on house rules and get a 1,000 house rules score. You get another free 87 overall by playing house rules, so you might as well knock it out and get it done. For all those of you that want to totally avoid head-to-head, -to -head, though, uh, you're going to have to win 20 solo battle games if you don't or if you're okay. I mean, house rules is generally a lot more easy and less sweaty and difficult, so I would definitely check it out. And just to clarify how you get 1,000, or basically how you score in house rules. It's a little bit more complicated than it needed to be, uh, but you simply would go into head to head and go to house rules college overtime and the rules are at the bottom here. So basically every win gives you 100 points you need to get 10 wins basically to get to that that first sticker objective done but also you're going to get 10 points uh per point scored with a max of 160 and then every yard you get up to 50 max is going to give you points as well so you don't necessarily have to get 10 wins it's more like nine and some change maybe even eight i know it says that these are 50 and 160 max I don't know if that's per game or like generally, you know, out of everything. So I'll have to find out. I haven't played any games, but there's a lot of different routes to get to those eight stickers and you can either play some online with house rules or you can stay totally offline and knock out the objectives, play the solo challenges and win 20 solo battle games. Now let's go ahead and show you how to use these stickers. They're pretty much going to work just like a power-up would in years past. And if you're new to the game, we'll show you how to get that done as well. We're going to go over to our item binder. Let's just go ahead and search or sort by quarterback. And once you get that Tim Tebow by knocking out one objective, you're going to go the same route that I'm going right now. You go to the card, okay? And you're going to hit your R1 button twice on PlayStation, right bumper twice on Xbox, over to upgrades. The very first step is going to cost you five training. If you have a gold card in your binder, you can quick sell that and probably get the five training if you don't have any at all. That's going to push us over to the next step. And the next step and every step after this to get all the way to an 87 is going to require a sticker. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stickers. Now I already have two of them. So all I got to do is hit X on PlayStation, A on Xbox, select item from binder. It's going to bring me to my binder where I have stickers because I've earned a couple already we go add to upgrade and you're going to see his overall is increasing as we add those stickers we're going to do it one more time here since we have two and boom we are now up i believe to an 81 overall the next sticker gets me to an 82 then an 83 84 85 86 87 or there i went too fast and there's the 87 pretty solid looking card i mean he's got good speed the deep throw isn't very good short and mid is solid 88 throw power isn't terrible uh, but that's how you're going to get your free 87 overall tim tebow so basically you got to knock out one objective completing the set is probably the easiest way to do that that gets you 79 and then you're going to have to do seven other objectives to get the seven additional stickers because you're going to get one plus the 79 overall for completing that very first objective and then once you earn all your stickers you can power them up that way and that's pretty much it if you got any other questions leave it down below in the comment section hopefully the video helped my name is popular stranger i'm out peace